Hello and welcome back to the wonderful world of the mind of steel. This is the weekly delve into the world of Britain's most ludicrous conspiracy theorist. We explore the crazy things he does, the strange things he says, and the awful company that he keeps. And that's going to be the subject of today's delve, because as I'm sure you'll be thrilled to learn, today's episode is another Sabrina episode. Who's she? Well, Sabrina Wallace is the former network operations technician who has reinvented herself as some kind of prophetess of doom. Sabrina is the person who believes that we have all been injected or maybe infected with some kind of wireless sensor device that, despite being completely invisible and undetectable, is using IEEE protocols to communicate some kind of strange telemetry about everything we do to evil operators whose identity she has not yet specified. Sabrina has a, a whole load of very strange beliefs. She believes that the Australian police, for example, have an iPhone app that can trigger an orgasm just by pushing a button. Well, if that existed, I'm sure we'll all be using it soon. But uh, until that day comes, let's enjoy ourselves in an almost as ecstatic way by exploring the things that Sabrina has been saying recently. And as I'm sure you will not be surprised to learn, she's upset about something. Kind of like dildo-headed, orange-shirted dude who's riding my coattails now. He's got like a thousand people on his channel. He was making fun of Mark Steele and now I'm over there too. Orange-shirted, dildo-head guy. That, that would be me. Yep, but, that would uh, be fortunately, you. Fortunately, I own more than one shirt. But none of that is important <laughs> for the day. We're going to... Oh, the, the thing that she's annoyed about, it's me. She's annoyed because... I've criticised her. I've, I've said that some of the beliefs that she has are entirely unfounded. They're based on no evidence at all, or more often than not, a complete misreading or a misunderstanding of evidence. And actually, that's going to be the subject of today's show. How Sabrina basically can't read. I mean, she can read words on a page. It, it's just that something seems to happen to them after she has decoded the glyphs and said those words, because it's almost as if she understands the words in a completely different way, but, but not a particularly insightful way. It's like when she reads the words, she thinks they mean the opposite of what they say. And let's just watch an example of that happening before our very eyes. I literally set this channel up to prevent people from knowing that there is a human body part called the aura. You mean the human biofield, you tard? <laughs> okay, we have to do it this way and then we'll get to laugh. So here's the biofield on the National Institute of Health, okay? And then I'm gonna type biofield. And it's gonna tell me that it exists, but if I ask if it exists, it'll say no scientific research has, has confirmed the existence of these fields. Did you catch that? Sabrina set out to prove me wrong by finding some evidence from the internet. And the evidence that apparently proved that I was wrong about the non-existence of the human biofield. Well, it was a statement, a summary of a Wikipedia article saying that the human biofield has not yet been shown to exist. Now, somehow in Sabrina's imagination, that is taken to be confirmatory of her position. How does that work? It says the opposite of what she thinks. But uh, let's delve into this a bit more. Something strange is going on here. And since we're all scientists, let's observe some more and maybe form some kind of hypothesis about what is going on inside the brilliant and pulsating cranium of Sabrina Wallace. What do you see here? Because your heart is electrical. But you'll lie to me, like douche canoe, right? And you'll say, no, there's no electrical heart. Nah, I shit ham sandwiches. I'm not a biochemical being. Fake, fake, fake. Right. Um, well, I don't shit fully formed ham sandwiches. And therefore, 
I must be an electrical being, whatever that means. Um, I guess she's pointing out that the fairly obvious fact that every single electrical process, every single chemical process of which life is composed, and there are millions of them, well, they all involve the exchange of electrons. But it doesn't necessarily follow that just because electrons are fundamental particles involved with, with literally every aspect of life, that, uh, that we're all going to be affected by electromagnetic radiation in quite the way that Mark Steele, and maybe also she claims. It, it's, it's a vague and unsupported claim that she's making. But anyway, that lovely little joke aside, pay attention to the next thing she says, because Sabrina believes that she has evidence that shows conclusively that I am wrong, and that she and Mark Steele must therefore be correct. Isn't he cute? Doesn't he look like somebody you'd want to learn from and talk to, etc.? The only reason I brought you here is because he goes after Mark Steele, who I didn't even know much about until the other day. Because Mark Steele had something to say about me. And unbeknownst to Douche Canoe, I had not known anything about Mark Steele. L really, nothing. Never even heard of him. And apparently, in the UK, Mr. Steele is known for being the big conspiracy theorist. Well, that's not what I saw. Right. Um, I think Sabrina has missed the joke. She, she basically doesn't get what's going on here. The joke of this show, Sabrina, is that Mark Steele isn't a big conspiracy theorist. He's not famous. In fact, outside of the people who care about weird, wacky conspiracy theory people, people who uh, watch and laugh at you and Mark Steele, nobody knows who Mark Steele is. That's basically the joke of this show. The fact that I've taken a completely mediocre, obscure figure, and then I report on him, like the things that he says and does are of paramount importance, when of course they aren't. They're just ridiculous things said by an ignorant truther. Like, that's literally the joke, Sabrina. And I think by not getting it, you've made yourself part of the joke. So what I did to find out who Mark Steele was is this. I typed in his name. He's a conspiracy theorist. Oh, really? <laughs> Alleging that 5G, Wi-Fi, and other communications networks are part of smart technology? Did you see what she did just then? She, she did it again. She was reading that Wikipedia summary, and when she got to the end of the truncated paragraph, she added her own words. So she wasn't reading what was actually written there. She was just making stuff up. And it was almost as if she believed she was reading it. But... We could all see what was happening. Those weren't the words on the page. And if she had bothered to read the actual Wikipedia summary, it would have pointed out that Mark Steele's most notable belief wasn't that he thought that 5G was part of smart technology, as Sabrina claimed. Mark Steele claims that 5G is part of a distributed weapons system, which is a truly remarkable claim. It's a conspiracy theory, it's wrong, and it's bizarre, but why would Sabrina do that? Why would she pretend the page says something other than that which it does? Using it's sensor it's... networks, I'll open that one. This one came from our channel, originally from here, but also over here. And what am I referring to? The same paper that your Substack went crazy over, the same paper that Maria Z and Todd Callender went over, the same paper from the American Journal of Bioinformatics Research. Sabrina is very excited because she believes that she has found an academic paper published in the American Journal of Bioinformatics, written by lead author Mohammed Rahimullah Mir, who is a, a medical doctor from a, a hospital in Bangladesh. She believes that this paper confirms beyond a shadow of doubt what she has been claiming. Astonishing, if true. The paper is called Effect of Coronavirus Worldwide Through 
misusing of wireless sensor networks. And Sabrina goes on to very excitedly read the abstract of this paper. And I, I wonder if you can spot what might be wrong. Let, let's see if you notice what's going wrong before Sabrina does. Corona is a non-communicable sensor disease spreading worldwide through misusing a processed radio frequency. So you want me to believe some rando douche canoe dude rather than all these people? Sabrina is asking a very cogent question. Why should she believe orange shirted, dildo headed douche canoe over Mohammed Rahmula Mia and uh, the other 16 authors of that paper over at the uh, American Journal of Bioinformatics? Well, there's a number of good reasons. Some of them I'm going to save for later, but perhaps the most obvious reason is that the paper is pure gibberish. And if Sabrina could read, if she had even basic powers of reading comprehension, she would have noticed that the words that she was reading just then were completely ungrammatical, that they were nonsense. Which is why I've obtained the services of a professional voice actor also from the wonderful country of Bangladesh. And she is going to read those words with a great deal more precision than Sabrina Wallace ever could. And I think maybe when Sabrina hears the exact words performed as written, even Sabrina, I think, will be forced to acknowledge that this is garbage. Corona is a non-communicable sensor disease spreading worldwide through misusing of processed radio frequency. So far, higher authorities of health services are facing the undesirable escalating causes of coronavirus towards human beings as a very scientific puzzle comprehensive issue. The study aims to evaluate the maltreating of wireless sensor networks that affect individuals within the body boundary area. Wireless sensor data were collected from individuals' profile, diagnosis and sensor node records at laboratory experiments. The study shows the effect of processed sensor nodes among individuals' body organs to compare with the existing environments. The study illustrates all individuals suffer from sensor disease due to reflecting of wavered sensors at open eye sites with high-speed electromagnetic radio tracking systems. The overweight and obesity patients are sick from corona disease at less sensor time in a dark environment than that of light conditions. These findings replicate the severe global one health security that the expert provides in active eyes within geographical location. So I'm supposed to take your word, Dushkanu, over these people. Because clearly, just like Mark Steele, they worked in the industries don't like it, right? The fact that electromagnetic radiation causes pneumonia, flu type, or COVID-19 symptoms. Not a conspiracy theorist, a fact of science, okay? A scientific, known scientific phenomena. Electromagnetic radiation causes pneumonia, flu type symptoms. In fact, all COVID-19 symptoms. It's plainly obvious that Sabrina Wallace had not bothered to do the slightest bit of background checking before deciding to cite this paper written by Mohammed Rahimula Mia as evidence that she was right and that I was wrong. Sabrina, as we've established, can barely read, but she also doesn't have the sort of intellectual curiosity to get some kind of background information on the sources that she wants to cite. Had she done so, she would have noticed that Mohammed Rahmula Mir is a prolific bullshitter. Take, for example, this paper published in the, the Journal of Endocrinology that claims that cyber hackers are using radio devices to make people uncontrollably urinate. But processed and fluctuated frequencies enhance frequent urination. After a certain time, it tends to diabetes. 
we need to urinate because radio frequency is generated but in the hereafter the radio frequency of the people of paradise will not be generated so they will not have it this is the blessing of allah god and in the life of the world cyber hackers are involved in these misdeeds diabetes in chief executives for example president prime minister chief justice chief of army inspector general of police vice chancellor chairman managing director professor principal manager scientist expert specialist and or senior executives presides the leader in his or her office regularly within a gps location when he or she is ready to sign for providing decision or judgment or speech delivery with active open eyes to the audience as audience nearby cyber hackers track at his or her bladder then he or she suddenly feels uneasy with frequent urination and just to be clear those are the unadulterated words of dr mohammed rahimullah mia who is a real medical doctor at a real hospital affiliated with an actual research institution of a university in bangladesh i didn't change any of those words and nor did the voice actor the next thing i'd like to present to you though is going to be a little bit disturbing if you're somebody who is easily upset by thoughts of animal suffering you might want to skip the next 2 minutes because this is a description of what seems to me a very unethical experiment performed by Dr Rahimullah Mir uh this paper purports to claim that um earthquakes are caused by a misuse of satellite technology and the way he goes about proving that i think will all find somewhat disturbing the study has shown that a small boat with a cat was floating in unimas lake at a specific gps location while tracking the boat with an atom based gravity sensor as it floats for a while the boat tilts and sinks into the lake water causing the cat to quickly sink as shown in figure 30 The cat's retina was scanned earlier so the cat quickly moved underwater as the sensor applied gravity. No matter how underwater the cat goes, it can be controlled by a satellite based voice coding and retina scanning code in a cloud network. Thus, any object exposed to water can be submerged by gravity sensor tracking. And that was an excerpt from Impact of High Frequency Satellite Oscillations on Initiating Earthquakes. which was the title of yet another paper written by Dr Mohammed Rahimullah Mir the exact same person that Sabrina just cited just a few minutes ago as proof that I was wrong and that she and Mark Steele were correct if this weren't a, a perfect example of crank magnetism the the phenomena by which birds of a feather flock together and by that I mean complete idiots well I, i don't know what would be this is the most classic example of fools fooling fools but uh yeah sabrina still isn't happy and when you fail to prove your case and you don't really have logic or evidence on your side well what can you fall back on other than threats i would quit if i were you but hey <laughs> take your own risks what do i mean well if i were standing in the way right now like you are of the following uh these are darpa r&d statements and your country might be where the banking arm is of the three city states that run bis and the bankers but our country is where your uh, brute force weaponry is i think sabrina is threatening me with the full might of the US military's covert weapons program which is the sort of bizarre and bonkers threat that Mark Steele would claim because as we all know Mark Steele claims to be a ministry of defense weapons expert when we all know that he's an ex-con whose most technical job was installing fences he was a fence installer it it's that sort of ludicrous claim that's so easily disproven that keeps us coming back to Mark Steele and Sabrina Wallace time and time again because 
they're so entertaining. They have so little ability to filter fact from fiction that they keep coming out with completely bonkers stuff like this. Sabrina and Mark are perfect for each other. They are two sides of the same bonkers coin. Mr. Mark Steele here, he knows this. He's the one that said to our, our friend Hope and Tavon over there in Morocco, he's like, there's no 6G, it's just the 5G amplified. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I did a video on that because I said, theoretically, he's correct. The 6G is just the metamaterials. The 5G, there's nothing after that. It's just them running around with all these little particulate, manipulating the particulate with the software-defined Internet of Bio Nano thing networks. Check it out. IEEE Nano. So we've learned that Sabrina Wallace agrees with Mark Steele and that 6G is just 5G amplified and mixed with the Bio Nano network of things. Check it out. And the way that Sabrina has come to that conclusion is by listening to her dear friend Mark Steele, who she claims not to know, but seems to watch rather a lot of. And Sabrina's proof of Mark Steele's claims are the obviously nuts theories published by Dr. Mohammed Rahimullah Mir, who is a real medical doctor working for a real hospital in the real country of Bangladesh, who, despite all these layers of reality, is a profligate publisher of utter nonsense. He's written journals that claim that earthquakes are caused by satellites. He claims that urination of public officials is caused by cyber hackers beaming radio signals. And most notably, he has claimed that uh, the COVID virus is caused by the misuse of sensor networks. And to make things worse, he is an unethical experimenter. For some reason, drowning cats that he had first scanned the retinas of. None of it makes any sense to me. And I doubt it makes sense to Sabrina because as we've established, she cannot read. And if she is the smartest person in the truther community, well, that really does not bode very well for the rest of them. Anyway, it's been an absolute blast, and I do hope that thin-skinned Sabrina or even thinner-skinned Mark will come back at me with some kind of response, telling me why I am wrong. I, I long to see that evidence. And if you have evidence that I'm wrong, please drop into the Telegram channel, make us a little video, and point out exactly what I got wrong. If you like, I'll play it on my YouTube channel. I, I love being shown the error of my ways. The, the link to my Telegram channel is right at the top of my YouTube page, and uh, I would love to see you there. And until a week from now, when I return with even more crazy Sabrina, imbecilic Mark, or bonkers modern-day jester, who knows what I'll come up with. I long to see you all in a week's time.